Good day to you viewers wherever you are. This is Froggy O'Toole on behalf of Hub Games with another Flip Over Frog Challenge. Uh, as always, on behalf of the thousands in attendance and the millions watching at home on pay-per-view, I am delighted to be running you through yet another game and you join us as the contenders are choosing their frogs. Uh, Steph has selected the yellow frog, Erin will come in next and has taken the red purple and finally our third contender Michael has taken the blue, meaning that the green frog will not be used in this match. So Steph opens up the match with a blue placement, putting Michael into a very, very early lead. But of course that doesn't matter, because the only thing that does matter is having the most of your frogs face up on the board at the end of the game. Now of course each player will start with three tiles in their hand, and on their turn they must play one of these tiles face up to the board, to any empty space or any face down tile. Once placed, any tiles that are currently being pointed to by the new tile that has been added, you just saw Steph there, Michael now moving a couple of tiles, these tiles must all be flipped. Uh, once you have then done that, you will redraw back up to your three tiles in your hand. Now of course this is some uh, frenetic, frenzied frog action. Oh, and you just saw Erin there dropping in a snake, the natural predator for these tiny but highly poisonous frogs. Of course, uh, playing one of those snakes will allow you to remove one of the frogs from the board, hopefully turning the tide in your favour. Now, things are progressing very, very quickly here. Uh, the game will end when there is no space for a new frog to be introduced to the board, or if all of the players run out of tiles. Uh, but of course, as you can see, things change on a sixpence there. Anything can happen in a game of Flip Over Frog as the strategical masterminds face off in this battle for the ages. Steph there considering their move, trying to work out what will be best. Uh, at this point, it looks like Erin may be in with a good chance of victory with some clever play, but Steph, no, Steph seems to be taking the lead now a couple more turns, and this match will be over. There we go, Erin has brought it to a close, and we can guarantee that yes, yes indeed, Steph does indeed win. Uh, congratulations on this accomplished victory, and you can join us again. I am, of course, Froggy O'Toole. Join us once more for another Flip Over Frog game later.